Welcome back to my workbench. We will be continuing on our repair restoration of our greasebound whistler bellows slide whistle assembly. I have the slide whistle disassembled from the wooden bellows body. Uh, I had to really work hard to clean out the slots on the screw heads before I can get a screwdriver in there and remove the screws. You must really be careful in this operation because you don't want to damage any of the parts. They simply are not easy to replace. Now that we have the slide whistle removed from the bellows assembly, let's take a look at servicing it. This main valve opens and closes to allow the reserve bellows to pump up full of air, and then when it opens, that air gets supplied to the slide whistle, which in turn makes this sound happen. So this main valve often gets sticky and dirty and the little hairspring that closes that valve sometimes gets weak and needs to be reshaped and bent, which is something that I did in an early operation on this one. However, I just recently discovered that the valve is still leaking, probably because it's dirty. First thing we'll do here is we'll remove the end cap of the slide whistle and remove the piston assembly. The piston has a little wire on it. We saw that earlier when we were disassembling the main mechanism. And the cylinder of the slide whistle is made of brass. That sometimes gets dirty inside and scored. Some people rehome those to actually true them up and clean them up. I really don't recommend doing that because it can change the shape and the, the function of the slide whistle but it may be necessary in some extreme cases. So let's go ahead and remove the little flapper valve. What we want to do is we want to, you could try to remove the spring, which is held in place by a tiny pin on the post, but I really don't recommend doing that. That's a difficult operation and it could break parts. So I simply take my forceps, lift up on the triangular valve plate, and it just slides up on the two retaining posts, and once you get it past the top of the post, it should pop right on off, as shown. And now we can see the area that that valve plate seats against, and it is in fact quite dirty. And here's the valve plate itself. It is also quite dirty. So we'll look at cleaning that up with a little bit of polish and jeweler's rouge material I like to use for that operation. Okay, let's get this thing underneath the magnifying glass and take a closer look at the areas that we need to polish out to make the valve on the slide whistle assembly work properly. As you can see, the hairspring that was holding the plate in place has been rotated out of position. This hairspring is pressed into a small brass post, and that post in turn is pressed it into the main plate of the slide whistle housing. Take a little pair of needle nose pliers and twist on that post, and you should be able to rotate the hairspring out of the area that needs to be polished. Once you do that, you take a little piece of old chamois cloth, and I have one attached to the little end of a plastic stick. Charge it up with some fine polishing compound. I use the red jewelry's rouge. And polish up that area. And you'll want to do the same polishing technique on the little triangular valve plate. Do not use any power tools for this operation because you could easily heat those areas up and distort those surfaces. They must remain perfectly flat for this to work properly. So get it good and cleaned up, and uh, you could try testing it out by holding the assembly up to your mouth and trying to blow through the valve while it's closed on into the slide whistle. Uh, you will have to put your finger on the back of the slide whistle or put the piston back in to hear the slide whistle whistling if there is any leakage. If there is no leakage, then the slide whistle should remain perfectly silent. So now we have the valve plate reassembled to the main body of the slide whistle and the little actuator rod back in place. Uh, this is what it should end up looking like. 
In our next little segment, we will look at the rest of the slide whistle, primarily the piston plunger that goes into the main cylinder, and clean that up and clean the whole thing up, get it ready to reassemble onto 